We're here at Blockchain Talks at the Impact Hub in Amsterdam, an event with some amazing international speakers on blockchain. Where does it come from? What's the context and history of it? And how are we now maturing into something that might very well change the world? Um, one of the speakers uh, today, um, and here with me, is Emily Raffo from ODEM. Um, Emily, first of all, what was your impression of the event? Uh, I really loved it, really. Um, I think the, the first talk, and actually all of the talks, were so much about the content, you know? And you see too many talks about the hype, the bubble, the prices, and so on. And this one was really about what value can be brought by cryptos and blockchain, so I thought it was amazing. So your talk was about Odem. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us more? What did you share with the audience today? Um, so basically, Odem is a platform that wants to make high quality education affordable for everyone. And for this, we're going to use the blockchain technology and artificial intelligence. Um, and so basically what we want is to connect students directly with their teachers so that they would be able to learn the skills that they want to learn and that fits the job market, you know, and that can actually give them professional opportunities. And we want to uh, allow everyone to have this opportunity to work and learn in a decent manner. That sounds really great. Um, so what are the challenges for this project? Um, so the thing is, uh, we also want to help uh, people in developing countries and uh, so there is a problem that some people don't have access to the internet and this kind of uh, still excludes part of, uh, of the population. So we would like to address this challenge as well to be really inclusive. That's, that's very interesting. Uh, do you have any clues on how to do that already? Um, well, you know, there is uh, that NGO, I keep on talking about them, I swear I have no connection with Bitland, but they have this project of uh, creating local internet stations with solar panel and uh, independent uh, access to the internet, you know, and I think this would be something that would be amazing for developing countries, because they have sun, so they can totally, <laughs> this works for them. <laughs> so it starts with basic infrastructure. Yes. Um, if we then zoom out a little bit away from Odeman to blockchain as a whole, mm -hmm. um, what's coming in 2018? What are we? What should we look for? Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, a lot of capital has flown in this sector, and uh, hopefully, this is uh, what I <laughs> this is what I hope for. Uh, I think we're going to see a lot of projects that uh, are going to bring value to the world in general. You know, we've uh, invested in a lot of ICOs and I think that 2018 is going to be the year where these ICOs actually come to life, these projects actually come to life and we see uh, this sector blossom, hopefully. All right, well, Emily, this sounds very promising. Thanks very much for being here today. Thank you.